एवरीवन आई एम योगिता शर्मा वेलकम बैक टू क्लास नाइन्थ हिस्ट्री चैप्टर वन फ्रेंच रेवोल्यूशन पार्ट थ्री इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द थ्री एस्टेट्स इन द फ्रेंच सोसाइटी एंड द सब्सिस्टेंस क्राइसिस ना मूविंग फर्दर वी नो दैट पेजेंट्स एंड वर्कर्स रिवोल्टेड अगेंस्ट द इंक्रीज टैक्सेस एंड फूड स्केसिटी दे डेंट हैड प्रॉपर मीन्स एंड प्रोग्राम्स टू कैरी full scale measures which could bring about any kind of social or economic change so the responsibility fell on the newly emerging social group which was prosperous and educated they were named as middle class middle class had all kind of traders manufacturers lawyers and administrative officials manufacturers and traders made their wealth by selling the goods made of silk and woolen textiles to the richer section of the society and exporting it to other countries this group believed that no one in the society should be privileged by birth rather the social status should be based on its merit the idea of equality and freedom were put forward by the philosophers like john locke and jean jacques rousseau john locke believed in social contract and absolute rights of the monarch rousseau carried forward the idea of social contract he said that the contract should be between representatives and people the government should have three organs that is executive legislative and judiciary all three of them should be independent of each other but they should work together to form law and order in the society this form of government was brought in force first of all in 13 colonies of america which had their independence from britain American constitution is based on individual rights these ideas were spreaded among the people through books and newspapers those people who could not read or had access to these books they were made to listen these ideas people used to discuss them in salons later on the news spreaded that the king may raise the taxes again as we have read earlier also that when louis 16 took over the throne the treasury was empty he was not left with any of the treasure so the only option to increase the treasure was by laying taxes on its people Now, how could he do that? For this, he needed the approval from the generals of estates. The king alone could not decide on this. So, since sixteen fourteen, no such assembly was called. In seventeen eighty nine, fifth May, Louis sixteen called an assembly, where all the three estates sent. their representatives first and second estate that is clergy and nobility sent 300 representatives each and the third estates sent 600 representatives which consisted of educated and wealthy group of people now how can we say that there was discrimination or not see the thing which is being discussed here it also shows that first and second state representatives were made to sit on the chairs whereas 600 representatives from third estates were standing now these educated people of uh, the third estate they called themselves as the representatives of 
the whole third estate. They brought along with them forty thousand letters of grievances, which they wanted to forward to the king. When it came to the voting, each estate had only one vote. So the representatives from the third estates demanded that instead of having three votes all together, it should be single vote for each and every representative. The idea was not acceptable by the king and other two estates. So the third estates representatives left. the assembly on 20th june they gathered in the indoor tennis stadium of versailles and declared themselves as national assembly where they pledged that they will make a new constitution for france which will keep a check on the powers of the king This group was led by Mirabeau and Abesius. Mirabeau was the noble. He belonged to the noble family, but he believed that with the changing times, feudal system should be abolished, and the ideas of freedom and equality should be implemented. so the national assembly pledged that they will not leave the place till the time they are able to frame a constitution on 4th august 1789 the constitution was framed and accepted by louis 16 all the powers of louis 16 were now checked by the people by the constitution all the powers all the taxes of church were also demolished and 2 billion levers were confiscated now any kind of privileges which were being enjoyed by the clergy and the nobility they were all demolished thank you We will meet once again. Thanks.